Okay, what we have here is the replaced sand resistor, that's the 1K. Underneath that sand resistor I replaced the, you just barely see it there, well, four, you can't quite see the purple, but there's a four purple brown, a 470 ohm resistor, that one was about 620, which probably makes no difference whatsoever, but I just didn't like it. I knew it would be hard to replace, and I figured well, I might as well get to it when I can. Uh, I've double checked all my lead dress to make sure all the right wires and the transformer are hooked up the way they're supposed to be. Uh, let's see, what else did I do? I, mean, I double checked to make sure nothing that with Zenus, with all this insane amount of hand wiring in here, you want to make sure that nothing gets pressed down and pushed and shoved and shorted out. A lot of these caps, like that one that sticks up kind of high, you know. Yeah, be careful when you're moving these things around don't you, that you don't put the chassis on top of anything that could inadvertently press up and short something out. I've actually had that happen before. That's why I'm not just supposing here. Uh, the only other thing I did, for no real good reason at all, but since I had had an issue with the transformer uh, developing that short, I double checked any capacitors in a primary circuit as well. And the only thing that was over there was this little double cap right over here. The one that says, I'll point to it. This little guy right here, this cap right here. It's a dual disc cap. One side of it connects up to the prime. Well, it goes through a resistor. To the, I mean, I there's no way that cap could be bad I think they can cause something to go wrong but I checked it anyway it was fine um, that's it I think we're good to go so I'm gonna be hooking it all up and plugging in that convergence board and we'll see what happens I hope this is it I don't want any more problems with this set it was a it's a nice working set when it works and you know Hopefully that transformer was the only issue. My high voltage was acting a little funny last time I tried it. I hope I don't have some new problem pop up there. And there's something going on with that CRT. And when I get this thing working again, I'll see if I can be a little more specific. That thing where I talked about it had like looked like a little glowing ember up around the convergence assembly inside the neck of the CRT. Uh, and I'll I'll get some video of that. I think that's got some, there's something to do with excessive current draw. I just have the feeling there's something wrong with that CRT. Uh, we'll know soon. Anyway, more to come. I'll probably just combine this with the working video. This one's pretty short and really isn't anything new. But that's the recap. New transformer, new power resistor that was blown when that resistor, when that transformer shorted. Replaced a resistor in the vertical blanking circuit I think is what that is and just just because it was easy to, it was a good time to do it and I think that was the, the total scope of the problem at least what I found all right more later okay we got it all plugged in you can see everything just kind of hanging loose right now and we got good well it's rolled in I need to adjust a little bit but I mean, everything's going to be fine now. I can't get to the vertical hole because it's the chassis is not pushed in. It pokes out on the bottom down here. So I think I'll be fine. I think it's just going to come down to... I see colors coming in there. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, button this thing up. It's a real pain to get it all put back together. But uh, I think we'll be good to go. So, I think it was just that transformer. That was the bottom line cause of everything. Even my high voltage is working fine now. I don't know what was up with that. So we'll see. Come back to it later. And it's all put back together and have a final complete shot. Thanks again for watching.